Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we will learn how to install Jira in Windows operating system. But before we begin, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss any update from Simply Learn. Just for your quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data science and analytics skills, and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's code of various data science and business analytics program. Simply Learn offers various certification and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some leading world class universities like Caltech, Purdue, IIT, Kanpur, and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like advanced Excel, Python, machine learning, data visualization, generative AI, and over a dozen of other skills. That's not all. You will also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top tier data and product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data science or business analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job or profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below. Find a data science and business analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now without further delay, let's get started with how to install Jira. Now to install Jira, you need to go to this particular website. Don't worry, this website link is attached in the description box below. And now if you scroll down, you can see the option to get started with the download. Just click on that. There you go. Just select the 64-bit version for Windows. Then go to the agreement just click on that accept all the agreements and privacy policies if you want you can just go to those agreement web pages and you can also read them and you can also cross check the privacy policy if you wish to now simply click on submit button and there you go i think the downloader has been started if you go to the download page you can see where the file is getting downloaded there you go it's about 560 mb so it should take a few minutes There you go. The file has been successfully downloaded now. Yes. Now you need to run this particular installer as an admin. There you go. The visit already started the installation process. There you go. If you have to check a few admin rights, if you don't have a few admin rights, then you have to give some admin rights to the installer. Click on yes and go to next. And here choose the default setting, which is express install. And if you know or if you want to customize, you can go for custom install. But now I'll go for the recommended one, default one, and check the port numbers and everything. Allow permissions once again. Give admin authorities if you had to give for this installer. And then allow. Go back to installation. Check the HTTP port and RMI port numbers. Let them be default. And now let's start installing. This installing might take a little time. Let's wait. So the first stage, I think it's been successfully done. It's extracting the files. And now it might take a little more time for extracting all the files needed for installation. Let's wait. Once it's done, it will start a new window where it will request for the startup of Jira. There you go. So installation is complete. You can start Jira now. Just click on next. I think some backup files i mean java environment setup will run in the background and once you click on next the environment variables will start the job and after that your jira will be hosted on localhost it might take a while but again you can work on jira directly from your browser as well you just have to create an account and create your demo projects let's also take a look at that okay now let's try to launch Click on that uh, icon checkbox so that your Jira starts in the browser. Click finish and a uh, few background uh, processes will be running which is about the environment settings and everything. We can minimize that and uh, let it take its own time. Meanwhile, let's try to create a Jira account from Google. To start uh, Jira in the local host, the background process need to run which might take a little time. But by then, let's try to create an actual Jira account from Google's website. Let's type in Jira login and select the first one login with Atlassian account. 
have already created my account for this. The creation is just simple, just like any other Google email creation. So you can uh, either log in or create a new account and log in. So let's select Jira software from the options given and it will now open a dashboard. So by default, you might be having a few of the projects and if you want uh, a new one, you can also create one using the create option over there. So these are some default uh, uh, scrums that we have already worked on and uh, you can also create a new project using that create project option or create. And with that, we have come to the end of this session on how to install Jira in Windows operating system. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require any of the resources that are used in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.